I want to introduce this practice, there is noting. And this is a technique that was developed by my friend and teacher, Kenneth Volk, who also originally developed the social noting uh, family of techniques. This whole approach is because he made a kind of big leap in how he was teaching traditional noting practice. Uh, it was traditionally done internally. He started doing it out loud with other people and, and found that that was actually much more effective. Um, and, and this is a technique that he developed several years after coming up with the initial, that initial kind of breakthrough. And what he told me when he first uh, shared the technique with me is, I found a really great way to introduce social noting to new folks. Um, prior to that point, he had been teaching people in a kind of more traditional Buddhist way of starting with the six senses. Um, this is something we're going to do next time together, six sense noting. And then expanding gradually, kind of taking each of those senses and unpacking them and seeing all the different possible categories of experience that we could notice, you know, body sensations, feeling tones, emotional states, attitudes, mind states, thoughts, attention, intention, um, breaking really our experience down and sort of noticing all these different kinds of sensations. Um, that's a great and thorough way to introduce people to noting, and we're going to do that here. Um, but it's not great if you're just hanging out at the pub or you're just uh, have a family member over and you just want to, in a minute, kind of uh, share this technique with someone and for them to actually get what it's about. So this technique I found is an excellent way to do that. Um, one of the reasons that it probably is, is because when we actually put the term there is, or the phrase there is, in front of a note, in front of a word or two to describe our experience. Uh, doing so um, tends to encourage what in you know, linguistics is called the gerund noun form in English. Uh, my understanding from non-English speakers is that all, not all languages have gerund forms, so this is maybe a little unique uh, to English. Uh, but what a gerund is, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a gerund is a verb in its ing form that functions as a noun that names an activity rather than a person or a thing. Um, so instead of sit, there is sitting. Instead of sight, there's seeing. Instead of person, there's thinking. Um, here in this practice, we're aiming to really see our experience as a process. That's part of what mindfulness practice is about. Instead of um, thinking that what we're experiencing are these solid objects or things. We're actually looking at them not as nouns, not as things, but as processes, as activities, as happenings. Um, so this, uh, there is noting, kind of seems to gently encourage linguistically uh, people to kind of find the right form of the language that hopefully helps point them to the right form of perception you know, of what we're actually trying to do in this practice. Um, it's not a guarantee. It doesn't force that, but it seems to, to kind of nudge things in that direction. Uh, the other thing I've noticed that there is noting does is it kind of helps to focus the mind toward investigation. So when I say there is, then immediately the sort of question or the inclination is there is what? I have to look. I have to look and see. So the very words there is invites the looking and the seeing. Uh, and it helps to kind of focus the mind, to direct attention toward whatever it is that's there. And what is there? Well, I have to check. I have to see. There's seeing. There's breathing. There's thinking. There is releasing. There's boredom. There's amusement, there's aching, there's energy, there's breathing. So here I'm actually demonstrating the technique, just doing it out loud so you can see what it's like. On the most kind of profound level, I think there is also helps to point to what in Buddhist terminology we'd call non-duality. 
Because if we really are simply present with, there with, whatever there is, there is seeing. In the seeing is just the seen, the Buddha said. Um, when we're just present with whatever there is fully, completely, 100%, then there is only that. There's no subject, no object. There's just this. And, and in a way, there is noting is also an invitation, a pointer toward that very profound truth of experiential awareness. That in direct perception, when we let go and are with whatever it is, that's all there is. There's thinking. There is planning. There's stillness. There's openness. There's pride. We can just notice like this flow of experience. How is it? How is it changing? What is there? Can we acknowledge it? Can we own up to what's happening? Um, that's the practice of there is noting.